What is up everybody? My name is Pete and I play music. So extended range guitars have kind of blown up in rock and metal over the last 30 years or so. It started in the early 90s with Steve Vai's Passion and Warfare album, but things really took off with the arrival of new metal, and more specifically, Korn, who kind of changed the game. After that they started popping up everywhere, even to the point where old schoolers like Metallica were occasionally seen with them, which is super weird to think of. Extended range guitars only truly blew up though after what I'm going to refer to as the post Meshuggah period, because let's be honest, without them things have looked very very different right now. This is when all manner of 8 strings, 9 strings, 10 strings, even more multi-string creations appeared, and things got kind of silly for a while. So many people are using them now that, at least to me, sometimes it seems weird to see a 6 string. It's like, dude, where's the rest of my guitar? I don't know, it kind of seems that within modern metal at least, they're kind of becoming seen as the dad rock guitars. Anyway, so this brings me on to my question, and I thought this would make a good topic for a video. Do you prefer a regular 6 string, or one of these extended range multi-scale monsters? So I reached out to you guys on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, all the social medias to see what the general opinion is here. I wanted to find out not just which you prefer, but why as well. For my style of playing, I prefer to stick with six strings as I don't need to go super low. Fair enough, there are loads of good bands out there right now making heavy music that's not tuned super low. Silosis have always been one of my favourites. They make everything sound so brutal and epic, but all of their songs are just a standard six string in regular tuning. Extended multi range, cause Gen. I mean, obviously. What other styles of music are there anyway? Six strings, mate. Unless you're playing chords that use seven strings or desperately need to have the range, I don't see the necessity. So this comment is from my mate Ro from I Built The Sky, a really awesome band from Australia, and he makes a really good point here. Unless you're using chords or need the added range for shredding, then why would you want more strings? He's clearly a six string kind of bloke, and having had a quick noodle on some of his custom keysels in the past, I know he certainly has good taste. Ro is a fantastic guitar player by the way, I'll put a link to his music right here, you should check it out. Extended range, one guitar, all the notes. Obviously, more is more, right? Six string, because your riffs still sound like multi-scale arse. Wait, my riff specifically or just in general? I'm used to six, but I feel like sevens are the perfect middle ground. Cause you can still play like normal and have the option to have drop tuned riffs. Yep, this is exactly how I feel and loads of you agreed too. For many, myself included, six isn't enough, eight is a bit too much, seven, that's perfect. Sevens are like this perfect middle ground that allows you the best of both worlds. I know where all my scales are without having to transcribe down. I can thrash in standard, I can gent in B or A, I can try multiple tunings. There's loads of possibilities with a seven string. Arguably eight gives you even more, and of course it does, but also eight strings can kind of feel like their own animal, almost like it's a different instrument entirely, probably because it's heading towards bass territory. But a seven string still feels very much like a guitar, and that's why I like it. And it seems that many of you agree too. I'm still in love with my 80s era six string jack, Getting some classic shred vibes from this one. You can't play hair metal on an 8-string, right? That's just wrong. I'ma stick with 6-strings, don't want to complicate it. So a few of you mentioned things along the lines of this, kind of implying that you want to keep things as simple as possible and, and that adding more strings would just complicate things. Now I'm a proper idiot, so I understand not wanting to faff about with extra strings, but you don't need to know music theory or anything like that. It's only 5 extra notes, 10 if you're on an 8-string, so it's not too bad. Sick guitar, love the look of it. Cheers, thanks very much. Depends on the song. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Six string, more for comfort, but also because you can tune a six string as low as you want depending on the string gauge and scale length. Tend to disagree with this one. In my experience there's always a trade-off between string gauge and tuning down on a six string. Anything below C often needs strings so thick that it interferes with how the string resonates. It also just kind of feels weird to me and that's one of the main reasons I tend to lean towards a seven string. Saying that, there's always bands like Architects who take everything I just said, kick it in the bollocks and set it on fire. I honestly have no idea how they tune that low on a six string. It's like the rules of physics don't apply or something. But it sounds good, so what do I know? Seven string, because I already have a six string guitar. Yeah, that's the spirit. It's like Thanos when he completes the Infinity Gauntlet. You start with six, then seven, then eight, and so on and so forth, until eventually everything in the known universe fades away into dust. I prefer six because my hands are so small. Well, my hands aren't huge either. They're kind of normal size, I guess. But I've never really had any issues getting used to a bigger guitar with extended range. Except for my eight string, which is flipping massive. But that being said, there's some cool seven string options with shorter scales out there. Some Ibanez RGs have regular scale lengths, and Matt Heafy's signature Epiphone is even smaller I think, so it might be worth checking out. I've always wanted to try that one myself actually, it looks pretty awesome in the all black. I'm a bassist so I can't relate, but all I'm saying is it's difficult to play corn on a 4 string. So the extended range is needed, plus some heavy drop A never hurt nobody. Well said sir, couldn't have put it better myself. Personally, I tend to lean towards multi-strings. I just think they're way more fun and the possibilities keep increasing because of how many strings you have. Not saying they're better, I just personally enjoy them more. I can 100% relate to this. Sometimes it's not that a regular guitar is worse or better, it's that an extended range guitar can do something that a regular guitar just can't. Plus, they're way more fun. 
six string and I can tune down. It's more comfortable and I don't prefer dealing with the extra sympathetic overtones that come with the seventh plus strings. This is an interesting one for me because there shouldn't really be any sympathetic overtones like unwanted string noise and notes ringing out. String muting with both your left and right hands should eliminate that kind of stuff, even on big guitars. But I guess it can happen, eight strings are pretty big. Why not both? Just saying. Only a Sith deals in absolutes, so yeah, I guess why not both? With multiple sixes and sevens, even an eight string, and I still enjoy all of them. I still think I'd probably pick up the seven string first though. I prefer six strings, but I really prefer baritone six strings the best, to be honest. So loads of you said this, and I'm trying to figure out if a baritone counts as extended range or just a regular six. Because technically it's extending the range lower, but it's also getting rid of the higher strings too. I think it definitely counts as a regular six string because, well, there are six strings. It's definitely a more efficient way of down tuning on a six string though, and lots of you seem to prefer it. Regardless of whether you play a six string or an extended range multi-string monster, you make music, right? And you want it to be heard. DistroKid can help you with that by getting your music on streaming platforms and digital stores like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, even Instagram and TikTok. I use DistroKid, I've been using them for years to get my music online. It's always super fast and zero hassle. You just upload your music and artwork to your account, select which stores and services you want to distribute it to, and you're done. DistroKid will take care of the rest. You keep all of your sales and streaming revenue, and it's super fast too. I've had my music in stores the same day sometimes. New DistroKid features can help you get your collaborators paid with automatic revenue splits, and get you a verified Spotify for Artists page, helping you keep track of stats and pitch to those all-important playlists. You can also use their new HyperFollow feature to get more Spotify followers, and you can now upload synced lyrics for Instagram. Thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Use the special link below and save 7% when you sign up, and start getting your music heard. All right, that'll do it. Some pretty contrasting opinions there, which I guess is to be expected, but some common themes which started to emerge as well. So regular six string or extended range multi-string monster, which do you like best? Let me know in the comments. This is kind of a different video for me. Let me know if you enjoyed it. There'll be some more music coming up next week. Subscribe up there if you want to see that and turn on that notifications bell. Also consider checking out my Patreon up there for tabs and extras for all my videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, my name is Pete and I play music.